Hi, my name is Barry Crompton. Today I'm going to show you around our Jaguar. Then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2 litre D Prestige. It's Euro 6, 2015 on a 15 plate. Has done 41,795 miles. Fuel economy, urban, 56.5 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 76.4 miles per gallon. And combined is 67.3 miles per gallon. Now, while I can't claim to have got any of those figures, I did use this car for uh, a good few weeks and it's so economical, I, I couldn't believe it. I was very, very happy with it. 0 to 60 time, 7.4 seconds, a top speed of 140 miles per hour out of a four cylinder, 178 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. Honestly, driving these and the XF, I don't see why anybody would buy a, a BMW 3 Series. <laughs> These drive better, they're cheaper, they're better value. In my opinion, they look better too. They're nicer inside, whole lot nicer drive. You, you can't feel every bump in the road, every pothole. Uh, and it's just a, a kind of luxurious way of driving for not a whole lot of money in the scheme of things. So this one, just chrome trims around the, the windows, the chrome Jaguar here, multi-spoke alloys, the Jaguar. I mean, that again, the badge, it's got to be the best badge ever. And when we used to have the leaping Jaguar on the front as well, that was that was so cool. My, my dad's um, 3.4 uh, Mark II, beautiful car, absolutely beautiful. We used to love going out in that on a, on a Sunday for a Sunday drive. <laughs> it's fantastic. Brings back childhood memories. Just a nice sculptured bonnet as well. Good clean lines, good colour. Lovely black interior too. Power folding door mirrors. The remote there. It's not electric opening. It's just a clever use of a spring. So nothing to go wrong. No powered struts, 150 quid aside. Just a spring. Just look at that. <laughs> British engineering at its best. Nice big boot there. You've got your AdBlue system here, or fill up your AdBlue there. Can't remember whether we've got, yeah, we've got to get your home spare wheel there. And to put it down, look, watch this. To put it down, you go. <laughs> it, it, it don't take too much effort or a rocket scientist to, to do it. Rear parking sensors, the twin exhaust. I'm doing my jacket for this one. So, as I say, Jaguar, Jaguar Land Rover in particular, they seem to be able to make interiors nicer than everybody else. Uh, it's so much nicer as well, though. That not, not, ju not just a little bit nicer, like, Manufacturers like Mercedes-Benz, even when they used to use proper leather, they managed to make it look like plastic. Uh, and this, everything, is just, it's just lovely. It, it is just so lovely. It's got contrast stitching as well. It's kind of orange stitching. And these lovely panel seats, we've got here a rear center armrest with two cup holders, Isofix rear child seat anchor points. It's I've put my seat forward, but to be fair, I'm I'm quite comfortable. Uh, I mean, you, you can you can see why kind of uh, heads of state choose Jaguars to be uh, chauffeured round in and, and Range Rovers. Just just a lovely car, Ni nice example. And as I say, in my opinion, value for money as well. You won't get anything that drives any better. I, I'm a big fan of Jaguars, it, it, I, it's just a value for money product and to be honest it shouldn't be a value for, for money product. If people go on about Mercedes-Benz and Audis and uh, BMWs then <laughs> these are better so uh, you know there should be more money. <laughs> Grab yourself a bargain while you can. Let's go for a nice drive, car.
Okay, so those are the keys, two keys. It's keyless go, so foot on the clutch, press the start button, and away we go. Now, the service history. 9th of 6, 2017, it's 11,496 miles. Lloyd Jaguar, 20th of 10, 2023, at 41,368 uh, Priory Garage. It's done 41,796 miles now. Um, as I say, I, I like I like Jaguars. I've always liked Jaguars. I've had a, a good few myself, run a few. Favourite car of my childhood that my dad had was a Jaguar. The, uh, I remember sitting in the back seat, arguing with my sister. And the back seat was like a massive armchair. And we were lost in it. It was really good. And now you've got cars like this. Just very, very economical. Nice and smooth to drive. Great gearbox. And uh, although, you know, the fuel economy figures, they, they seem probably unachievable for a, a saloon car this size it, it I don't know exactly what it is but it, it it is very very good I'm more than pleased with it uh, when I've used it let's just um, take that down a bit so let's just see what it's uh, it's been ticking over while I've been see it says here average 42 miles per gallon and I I've had it ticking over while I've been photographing it and you know it's not particularly been on any long runs while I've been using it as well just four miles at a home and back so 42 mile per gallon I'd be over the moon with anyway got electric door mirrors just set that yep there yep that one's working too all good Cruise control here, Jaguar Land Rover, cruise control. The gear, I can understand why it does so many miles to the gallon. The gear ratios are kind of very long-legged. I'm doing 30, about 38 here at a thousand revs. So I dare say that if I took my foot off the accelerator, which I have done, we, we're going, we're continuing to go. And, and kind of pull away at, at a thousand revs. I wouldn't recommend you did that kind of thing, but it's just, you know, the, the car's barely ticking over when you're doing 40. Um, global locking, unlocking here. The cruise control, Jaguar Land Rover cruise control, click set, that's it. Does what it says on the tin set straight away you can increase the speed set plus at the top decrease it set minus cancel here you can set a speed limit here so you you don't go too fast in a certain speed limit and you can also resume with this one um, once you've touched the brakes applied the brakes got too close to the car in front touch the brakes the cruise goes off and to resume it just click the resume button there and there you go cruise set speed and it's resumed the bluetooth audio system there you go that's navigation press screen to continue navigation activated and i might just be able to get into sixth gear now I'm doing 40 miles an hour at around about 1500 revs there's the navigation on You've got Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming too. Good sound system in the Jaguar. If I get time when I get back, I'll uh, show you how to set the sat-nav, how to delete a mobile, how to pair a mobile, and how to uh, stream audio. We've got heated seats here. So that's the heated seat button there. And then you can see I can switch. That's position three, comes straight away, and I can knock it down like so position one and, and the same with the passenger seat knock it down 
So you've got heated seats in the front. Your instrument display, left-hand side is speedo. Center is information display. On the right-hand side, it's rev counter. Your information display in the center. Top left is time. Top middle is lane departure warning, which is stupid. Top right, outside air temperature. Middle left, coolant temperature. Middle right, fuel gauge. And then in the bottom, right at the bottom, you've got a digital speedo, which of course is, is excellent because there's no ambiguity in your speed. It doesn't matter where you sit, it's still going to read exactly the same. And then above that, you've got information that you can control with it, the end of this um, your indicator stalk. <clears throat> we'll just get around the corner. It's uh, probably going to be a bit of a mishmash video again today. All, I have all kind of matching GoPros, but I put them on charge last night and uh, I have a three pack battery charger so I took three of the batteries out and plugged the rest in to a USB-C however I forgot to retrieve the three batteries out of the battery pack this morning to put them in my uh, my best GoPro so I've got an Insta360 here, my new Insta360 there and uh, a couple of te uh, GoPro 10s I think, might be 11s I can't remember but uh, a good place to uh, stop there. So all the, we'll, we'll see how the video gets on. On the left hand side here, you've got menu. So I'll click on menu, changes the information display in the center, driving features, forward alert, traffic signs. Let me just go on to traffic signs, sign recognition. And there's no tick in that, I, I can't believe that. So we'll put a tick on that. Speed alert, I don't need. But uh, yeah, no, no traffic, oh dear me. Instrument display, vehicle setup, click on vehicle setup, just by clicking to the right. And there you've got an another one, window global open is, is knocked off, so we'll put that on any further. Window global close, yeah, we'll tick that. Wiper settings, drive away locking, yeah, that, all, all that's okay. I'll just go back to. That'd be a great idea if you indicated, mate, so people knew where you were going. As I say, lovely drive, lovely steering, good acceleration, economical too. Just move that from there. So what have we got there? Drive away locking at five miles per hour. And in the centre there now we've got traffic signal recognition, which I really like. I am quite often I always do it. I don't know why I try not to speed. I have no reason to speed. I always set off plenty early. And uh, I've got nowhere to go and all day to get there. That's the lane departure warning because I hadn't signaled. It's and red light on the dash. But now, you, you know, you, you're driving along and all of a sudden you see a a speed camera or something up ahead and you think oh am I doing the right speed and you look at your speed on then you're looking for a, a traffic sign but traffic signal recognition on here of course 70 and it changes all you have to do is look down you've got the information there the speed you're doing the speed you should be doing just nice also electric seats here I'd, I'd actually forgotten I moved the seat forward when I was photographing in the back or videoing in the back so you've, that's electric seats, forward and back, and then I can move up like so. Those are all the things you need, really. 
nothing else. Lumber support's nice, but, you know, more to go wrong than that. Just along here, you've got stop start, dynamic mode, all the dash has gone red, you've made it angry, flip back, and that's just normal mode, eco and winter. So I'll stick it back in eco, although I often find that, you know, it, it dulls the throttle response and virtually takes every last ounce of enjoyment out of driving the car. Not that I drive fast, but there you go, just on it acceleration you can you can just feel it it's uh it'd be fine for the type of people that mostly buy a vehicle like this family guys nice couples family man driving gloves and i'm not making fun of that i uh i'm i'm actually jealous There uh, we've got, it's showing my driving style now, it's telling me when to change up, telling me I should change up now. Feels a bit uh, of a low speed to me, but. And then you've got indicators that show you how well you're using the accelerator, what speed, or if you're not being stupid, and the brakes. Heated seats are nice and warm. I'm in a nice comfy position too. So nice easy clutch and gear change. Just, I was going to say a basic car, but it's it's a it's a well-equipped basic car. Those are like a manual gearbox. Easy enough. Everything you need. Nice, nice design. I like the way the dash sweeps round, contours into the doors. Typical Jaguar. Piano black insets on the gear tunnel, matching over the sat nav display. This, uh, the orange contrast stitching. That's, uh, that's about it really. I've got, actually, that's on 20, it's a wonder my cameras haven't knocked off because I, I forgot to turn the heating down. So I'll quickly climb it down to 22. All good. As I say, that um, that gearbox has got long legs. Fourth gear. Forty miles an hour. About 1,300 revs. That's an eco as well. Just change it. That's in dynamic. 
dynamic. I, I don't feel like I've put my put the accelerator down, but the car's speeding up. So it's making the throttle more responsive. All good. I've finished the test drive there. And uh, thoroughly nice car. And see you in the next video. More Land Rovers to come, I think. We've uh, we've got a few more in stock, and uh, we'll see we'll see how we go. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye bye.